My name is Don McGuire, I'm with Global Product Marketing at Qualcomm, and I'm so excited to be here to open our second annual Qualcomm Snapdragon Tech Summit. The video you just saw highlights the central role our inventions play in powering millions of connections around the world. It has made the smartphone indispensable. I'd also like to welcome the over 300 press and analysts from 27 countries, along with everybody watching on the live stream. This Thank you for being interested in what we have to say. And we work with our ecosystem partners so we can deliver user uh, experiences that are amazing, but also drive industry transitions. This is one way to summarize a strategy. I think we spent the last 30 years of our companies interconnecting people. It's 8.6 billion cumulative smartphone shipments between 17 and 2021. It's one of the largest uh, segments of the industry when you think about semiconductors. And when you, when you look at what happened is the, today about 60% of the population uh, will have a smartphone. By 2020, you expect to have about 7.5 or 7.6 billion smartphones. That's including, you know, 60% uh, uh, of the entire population. Uh, a three billion revenue uh, business opportunity, which is a 25% increase year over year. Uh, a few things to remember, which will make sense, hopefully, as we grow to everything we have to tell you today. Cloud connectivity anywhere, anytime. 5G will happen in 2019. With a number of partners in the industry, actually, uh, this go back to Mobile World Congress at the beginning of 17, when 40 companies joined Qualcomm with a mission to accelerate 5G. The foundation of a 5G network will be a gigabit LTE network that will carry voice and that will receive an upgrade for lower latency so you can hand off from lower latency applications from 5G. We're able to deliver many mobile transformations and many new user experience. When we think about the Snapdragon uh, 835, it's, we have seen the 835 now in virtually every premium flagship Android device. Uh, for semiconductor. It was the very first SOC in 10 nanometer technology. And instead of having traditionally the CPU or the graphics leading in the transistor node, the Snapdragon 835 had allowed us to reach that inflection point. And when you think about what is the always connected PC, it's about having an integrated cellular and Wi-Fi that will give you gigabit experience uh, uh, anywhere. You have a gigabit LTE, which is now the foundation from for 5G going into the connected PC. And that's one of the user changes that we're gonna see with the always connected PC. You may also not have the need to carry your tablet. With China was somewhat a reverse. 50% want a fast connectivity, 61% long battery life. Top two features that consumers want if they could build their own device and the features they're more interested in, Harry Meyerson. It's a significant step on that journey. Throughout the history of personal computing, there have been steady waves of progress that have changed how we interact with technology. As I get to try out new products really early, and I just love seeing how the innovation, seeing how all the components fit together, how it looks and feels, ultimately how the customer will experience the product. I've been using an always connected PC running on the Qualcomm Snapdragon platform. And while picking up my son at soccer practice, waiting in the car, I marked up some PDFs with ink, and then the plane ride over, I played some games. I didn't plug in once that entire week and then quickly goes into standby when I'm not. Very efficient in how it uses power. It's running Windows 10 and an optimized version of Office 365. It's fundamentally transformed the way I work in three ways. The screen is instantly on. 
I never have to wait for the device to come out of hibernate or boot. Just like my phone, I open the screen, it's instantly on and available for me to use. I'm seamlessly connected wherever I am, whether I'm at work, commuting. I'm always connected. It's this natural way. It just feels like the natural way to work with all of my teams, all of our partners. Battery life is just awesome. I'm finding myself charging it once a week. Not carrying around a power cord, it's just liberating. Instant on, always connected in a week of battery life with a full Windows experience, you'll really feel what a big shift this will be for consumers. The always connected PCs are modern Windows 10 devices. With Windows Hello, Touch, Pen, and Ink, they're thin, light, elegant designs, more secure, instantly on, always connected, with a week of battery life. The answer seems simple. It's not a matter of if. It's just a question of when and how fast all mobile PCs will become always connected PCs. Partnership in making this happen. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Microsoft, for this great partnership. Now we can talk about a new metric, which is PC standby time. ASUS has a history of designing a, a beautiful devices for both PC and smartphone. Now, let me introduce the first ever Gigabit LTE laptop. Asus Nova Go. Gigabit LTE laptop that can deliver data speed up to one gigabit per second. It is powered by a high performing energy efficient Qualcomm Snapdragon A35 10 nanometer design and 8 gigabyte of RAM. We have taken the short battery life and hit it out of the park. Now you can enjoy true OTA computing for up to 22 hours for 599. At the core, the HP brand is about giving customers great experiences, giving customers great experiences with technology. We have lots of smart engineers. We have, with that context in mind, I'd like to uh, introduce the new HP NVX2. This is Joe Tan. She's the brains at, at, at HP. And uh, hi, hi, Joe. Thank you so much for bringing it out. <clears throat> you know, we chose a Windows detachable design. We chose a Windows detachable design specifically because we know that customers prefer this design to be able to run around and go everywhere. Very, very reliable. 6.9 millimeters thin, over 20 hours of battery life, weighs one and a half pounds, fantastic performance. Always connected in Windows PCs, it's going to grow the Windows TAM. It's going to grow the PC TAM. We're very selfishly excited about it. People are going to spend more time, more minutes and seconds per day on their Windows always connected device than ever before. So many of you might be wondering, OK, uh, what's, what's AMD's presence here at the Qualcomm event? Um, so let me start by talking about AMD. It all started back in March when we launched our very first product based on our Zen Core. 
So we launched the eight core Ryzen 7 product in March. And then we had a series of launches of these high performance desktop processors through the first half of the year. High performance computing and desktop, high performance computing and discrete graphics, and now most recently, high performance computing for notebook PCs. So I'm here because that high performing processor needs world class connectivity solutions to create the ultimate notebook. AMD's technical collaboration with Qualcomm to deliver the combination of AMD Ryzen notebook processors with always connected 4G LTE based on Qualcomm Snapdragon modems. And what we have now as a result is the opportunity that I look forward to the most, which is to bring that validated solution to our OEM partners and work together to expand the concept of the connected PC to high performance computing through the combination of AMD and Qualcomm. And we intended to continue with this revolution. I also know that many of you are expecting to hear from Qualcomm today also about our next Snapdragon platform. And I'd like to start by taking a look at what the last 10 years, you know, have been for us in the Snapdragon platform as we celebrate the 10 year anniversary. But think about that. Think about how communication would change. Imagine doing a karaoke session, which I'm proven to be very terrible at, but then when your voice comes out, it sounds like your favorite singer. Essentially, the phone is replacing what's in your pocket, even your keys. Imagine you never have to pull out your wallet and lose your money because it's on your phone. Imagine buying a car at a dealership without even using a credit card. A lot of people around the world use a safe in their house to keep valuables in, or they use a bank vault, gigabit LTE. None of these applications would be possible without the connectivity. In fact, think about the speed of gigabit LTE and how much better the user experience will be with gigabit LTE. Imagine introducing a Snapdragon 845 mobile platform. This chip contains billions of transistors and executes hundreds of millions of lines of code, bringing you all of these features and functions that are gonna change your consumer behavior. It is the ultimate in mobile platform capability. And it takes three years for us to put this together. With the help of our consumers, we're gonna to bring to you the best devices that are gonna be valuable to the consumer use cases. As Alex said, we're working very closely with the ecosystem, and many partners that actually make this a reality. I have a special guest. They came here today, and I would like to invite Samsung to the stage. Samsung can help us fabricate and design this chip and bring all of those technologies to the mobile devices. I'd like to introduce E.S. Jung, president of Samsung Foundry Business. Uh, good morning, everybody. Actually, my name is Yes Jung. I'm very, I'm very happy to to see that uh, what we achieved together. Okay, just last year, and just the first uh, 10 nanometer process, and Qualcomm introduced the uh, is a beautiful chip, world first chip, which is amazing and wonderful chip of the year. Snapdragon 835, you know, right? Qualcomm will always stay ahead of the game. I definitely confident. Samsung will deliver the, just the, the most innovative technology to Qualcomm, and also we will give a perfect operation and also best service for Qualcomm. Now I would like to bring the stage as we close this event. Keynote. I would like to bring a very special person which is also very excited about the Snapdragon 845. In preparation, 
I would like to ask all the English speakers media to put in your headsets for simultaneous translation. Xiaomi CEO Lei Jun. Xiaomi is a very young company. Xiaomi is actually a very young company. Ever since our inception, we have collaborated with Qualcomm very favorable times. Qualcomm has always been Xiaomi's most important partner. And as of today, we have all together sold 238 million Xiaomi mobile phones powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon processors. Today, for sure, I'd like to congratulate on Qualcomm, the two Qualcomm on the successful launching of Snapdragon 845. We are actually announcing that we're now in the process of researching on our next premium smartphone, which will be powered by Snapdragon 845 mobile platform. We are a seven-year-old company in the mobile phone industry. Indeed, we are one of the toddlers. After the last two years' efforts of, say, reshuffling our efforts, we are now backing the right track of fast-paced development. Now you can see two charts featuring the research results by two international research houses. What actually prides me more is that in Q3 this year, Xiaomi actually saw a growth of 112.6%, which indeed was a very impressive number. Xiaomi became the market leader in last quarter, namely Q3. Um, its screen-to-body ratio reaches an impressive 91.3%. Our internal tech meeting would talk about the future look of mobile phones. And we thought it would be good to have a screen that actually covers the full boards of the, of the uh, frontal plates. And while this year we also we we had a mobile phone winning the Idea Gold Award, which is the most authoritative and prestigious award in the world. And what's more, in September this year, the National Design Museum of Finland officially took Xiaomi Mi Mix as a piece of its collection, so using the uh, full screen display. It's also using what we call ceramic unibody, which is one whole piece of ceramic as the body of the mobile phone. You can now see the image of Mi Mix 2. The reason that it's glamorous is that it's actually like a jade, and it's made of one whole piece of ceramic. We were also running our own uh, franchise chain store business, so we can take ourselves as also a platform of sales. We are in the meantime an internet company offering a large array of internet services. Vis-a-vis -vis this image, you can see that we are working in retail, in hardware, as well as in internet business. It's more like what we call business model of triathlon. Our mission is innovation for everyone. This is this is great. The China mobile ecosystem is a very vibrant one. One of the fastest growing one is now becoming global. I'd like to thank you all for coming here. This is an exciting time for the industry. It's an exciting time for the ecosystem. We talk about the iOS connected PC, uh, the Snapdragon 845. There are so many good things happening. And I think there's no better place to be right now, which is the mobile industry. So we're very excited about that. Thank you.